Hello, Democrats. So this is the word on the street. So both candidates did interviews on Fox News the other day. And I want you to check this out. Donald Trump did his interview with Fox News and he was able to pull three million viewers. But Vice President Kamala Harris did her interview on Fox News and she was able to pull 7.1 million viewers. So, well, that's really not relevant because that's probably due to the fact that we've seen Donald Trump do interviews already. We have not really seen Kamala Harris do any interviews where she's asked solid, like straight answer questions. All the interviews she's been on and the debate, she was asking all these softball ass questions, very easy for her to answer. And in this interview, she didn't even answer any questions. So let's see what nonsense this guy has to say. You know what? The traps that they tried to set for her to make her look in, in, unable Unable. to do her job or you know ambush her it didn't work because the reviews all over the place today is saying that it opened a lot of eyes for people that are on the other side that are possibly undecided or republicans or folks that wasn't going to vote for her or vote at all but now they're going to vote for Kamala Harris because you know what they saw? They saw a leader. They saw someone that's tough as nails. They saw someone that knows her stuff. And they saw a leader that cares about the United States of America. Well, I don't know what interview he saw, but the only thing I saw in that interview was Kamala Harris coming up there with three goals. Filibuster, blame Trump, don't answer any questions. That's the only thing I saw in that interview. Don't know an interview he saw yesterday. She could have gotten angry. She could have gotten up. She could have walked out. She could have... Yeah, she did walk out. They didn't show it on camera, but she actually did walk out. They had um, people from her team flagging Brett to cut it off. So, yeah, she walked out. And that filibuster did work because they have a set time limit to do the interview. She wasted all the time and they didn't even get to the last question. She could have spewed uh, conspiracy theories. She could have handled that in a way that would have made her look inept and unhinged. But she showed genuine leadership, toughness where it mattered. And she stood on truth and integrity. So I tell you today, let's get to those polls Let's blow the last bit of the couple of weeks that we have away. And let's make sure that we vote for Vice President Kamala Harris, help her over the finish line, reach out to people that have not voted, reach out to your family, your friends, give people a ride to the polls and just celebrate as we come from the polls victorious. Let's go ahead and make this election not only a historic, but make it a celebration for all of those that fought for their rights before us. If you're riding with Kamala, go ahead and put it in the comments. I'm riding with Kamala. We got a couple of weeks to go before we can say congratulations, Madam President. Harris did an interview on Fox News yesterday, and here's how it went. Now, let's be real. Republicans are always going to say that Harris did a horrible job, and Democrats are always going to say that she slayed. Now, I'm an independent with a slight bias towards Trump just because I'm a Kennedy fan, so, you know. But I've always been upfront if I thought she did a good job in an interview or if she did a bad job. This interview was not her best day. Now, do I think this interview actually hurt her? No. Did it help? Certainly not. Because the point of going on Fox News is to hopefully get some moderates and Republicans on your side, and I do not think she accomplished that at all. Her answer to literally everything was, I'm not Donald Trump, and all of my failures are because of Donald Trump. Frankly, exhausted of Brett. More than 70% of people tell the country is on the wrong track. They say the country is on the wrong track. If it's on the wrong track, 
That track follows three and a half years of you being vice president and President Biden being president. Mm -hmm. That is what they're saying, 79% of them. Why are they saying that? If you're turning the page, you've been in office for three and a half years. And Donald Trump has been running for office. But you've been the person <laughs> holding the office. Come on. Madam you vice and I president. both know what I'm talking about. A lot of people run for office. Do they have any control on what's going on in our government? No. So that was probably her worst moment in the interview. Now, if you watch the interview for yourself, you probably thought to yourself, hey, Brent was really cutting her off. After the interview, he explained why, because she showed up 15 minutes late, tried to rush the interview, and her staff was behind saying, no, 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 cut it off, be done. Ooh, see that? I didn't know that part. So not only she not answer any questions, she showed up 15 minutes late. She spewed a whole bunch of BS in that interview, talking about Trump is going to get the army to turn on his people. Or well, I'm like, if he was going to do that, he would have done that his first term with the president. He would have done it back then. Why would he choose to do it now? And either way, we can't legally do that. There are branches of government that you have to go through in order to do that. You can't just say, hey, go attack the people. You can't do that. And trying to get her to not answer questions. Let me show you this clip of Brett cutting Harris off, but it's because he's looking for a hard set number and she's going on and on with her answer. How many illegal immigrants would you estimate your administration has released into the country over the last three and a half years well i'm glad you raised the issue of immigration because i agree with you it is a it is a uh, topic of discussion that people want to rightly have and you know what i'm going to talk about yeah but right do you now, just a number is, do you but, think it's but, one million three million brett let's just get to the point okay the point is that we have He's a broken immigration system that needs to be repaired. So your and Homeland Security Secretary said that 85% well, of apprehensions. I'm not finished. We have a we have so an rough immigration estimate of system six million people have been released be into the country. And let me just finish. I'll get to the question. I promise you. I was beginning to answer. And <laughs> when when you came into office, your administration immediately reversed a number of Trump border policies. Most and he goes on to talk about the rest of the immigration stuff. So at face value, you might think, wow, he's really cutting her off, but she's not answering the question. Now, a lot of people tell me, thank you for watching the interview, so I didn't have to, or that rally, whatever. But I do recommend, at least every now and then, watching full interviews, watching full rallies to get the full context. This context always matters. But as always, let me know your thoughts. What did you think of this interview? And make sure you're following me for more. Well, personally, I thought this interview should have been an absolute eye-opener for all of Kamala Harris's supporters. And that being, she can't answer any of the simple, direct questions. The very first question he asked her, how many migrants do you think you let in? That's a number question. Didn't give a number. No explanation. Talking around the topic. Claiming to be about to answer the question. And yet never answering the question. But she ended up blaming Trump. And Trump had absolutely nothing to do with any kind of policies that were going on during their presidency because he's not even a government official at all. He's a businessman. And it's just so crazy to me that we have such a large group of people that would rather vote for Kamala Harris for the simple fact that they don't like Trump. This is not a popularity contest. This is an election for the next president of the United States. You're supposed to base your voting patterns on the candidate you most agree with with their policies not their personality. They both have, pat, have bad personalities. And if this is something to go off of, Trump's four years were vastly better than Kamala's three. Vastly better. And people seem to not want to admit that. And it's, there's another thing to go off of. Kamala Harris is vice president right now. If she wanted to fix everything, she could do it right now. Or she could have done it the last three years that she was vice president. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see y'all next time.